right, it's 9 a.m. I'll call to order the Green Mountain Care Board hearing of April 1st, 2024. Uh, today's meeting is to discuss the Vermont Hospital Global Budget Methodology. Um, we anticipate having a executive session to discuss negotiations and negotiation strategies, um, but we'll start out in a public session and see where that goes. It'll be presented today by Elena Barabee and Michelle Degree. There will be no executive director's report, and I will turn it over to Ms. Barabee and Ms. Degree. Thank you, Chair Foster. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. <clears throat> Are you all able to see that and hear me okay? Yep. Okay. Um, so uh, as Chair Foster mentioned, the slide deck for today is relatively short and it does include um, a few uh, slides in an appendix that we will not review unless they're needed for some question and answer, um, but are there for uh, sort of public knowledge and viewing. Um, so good morning, happy April, and here we go. Uh, agenda today, uh, we're going to revisit a couple of model timelines, ahead model timelines, and then um, go into a little bit more detail on the board's role in uh, the development of the Medicare specific um, specification. Uh, we'll do a review of executive session. We can do a question and uh, answer session, and then um, I've got some proposed motion language to move us um, to move us over. So a reminder of some of the overall uh, components of the AHEAD model and sort of key timelines here. Um, and looking at the, the deadline, who, who sets the deadline, if there's a board vote required for any of these actions, and then the sort of due date for all of those things. Um, so looking through, you can see there are quite a few board votes required, um, you know, backing up from the actual signing of the agreement. Again, of course, this is uh, under the assumption that the state is accepted into the AHEAD model should we not be accepted into that model, which we would know in, I believe now that CMMI is saying May or June. Um, some of this is obviously subject to change along with that decision. Um, so you have the Vermont specific Medicare global budget specification, which is really what we'll be focusing on today. Um, you've got the continuation of development of the commercial global budget methodology. We've started some of that work in our um, hospital global budget tag meetings. Um, so avail those materials are available on our website. Um, <clears throat> though we have not um, continued to focus given that the commercial component is not required for year one of the AHEAD model. Um, Medicaid global payment, that's obviously being done by our partners at DIVA. Hospital budget guidance, you're all well aware that you need to vote on hospital budget guidance. So this would be um, incorporating any changes into the fiscal year 26 guidance in 2025. Um, and then, of course, execution of the agreement itself. So the agreement needs to be signed um, about six months prior to the start of performance year one, which would be January 1st, 2026. So you see here that deadline of June 30th, 2025. Implementation of the primary care payments and hospital global budgets. Again, that's uh, expected to start with the first uh, year of the model, so January 1st, 2026. Uh, the spend targets, um, those are negotiated separately outside of the initial agreement <clears throat> terms, excuse me, um, and those would need to be uh, in place by October 1st of 2026. And then the commercial hospital glo global budget methodology, as I mentioned above, that's a year later, so January 1st, 2027, or sooner, it could be sooner, <laughs> but it doesn't have to be uh, per the terms of the model. Um, just a couple of notes on, on sort of the board votes. Um, Act 167 directed the GMCB to develop global payments from all payers to Vermont hospitals, ACOs, or both. And then in the fall of 2022, you might recall the board um, delegated authority to Chair Foster and Member Lunge uh, to pursue 
activities required by Act 167 related to payment model development and regulatory uh, redesign, um, though that would not necessarily cover full signature or vote, which is why you see several board votes here. So I'm going to move into a little bit more detail on the Medicare global budget specification. Um, if you recall on the last slide, it's a due date of June 1st. <clears throat> um, that's giving us a little bit of wiggle room, if I'm being honest, uh, because the deadline is technically the end of June, although this work involves lots of contractors um, and sort of interagency support from our partners at DIVA and AHS. And so we want to make sure that there's enough time to make any necessary changes as needed. Um, so here's a preview really for the board of the next couple of months and how many times you'll be hearing from myself and Elena um, and likely having continued executive sessions as a lot of these things will touch on negotiations. Um, so again, this is a, to get us to the Vermont specific Medicare global budget specification. Um, and again, due to CMMI by June 30th, that's assuming acceptance into the model. If that is not the case, then these timelines will change or become non-existent. Uh, so a couple of things. So today um, is April 1st, so you can see it's highlighted. We're here to talk about sort of negotiation strategy on key decisions, focusing mostly on the Medicare total cost of care and the Vermont Medicare specific specification uh, base and base adjustments. Um, we've got a couple of preliminary, very tentative dates in here about uh, continued board discussion. Um, these are all subject to change and we will be providing the board with as much um, documentation as possible ahead of these uh, sort of proposed dates. Sort of just a high level, uh, uh, slide to talk about um, our goal for today. Um, this slide uh, is from CMMI. Um, it's from their initial AHEAD model overview webinar. It's linked there for folks if they'd like to, to go through that. Um, today's conversation is really around total cost of care savings and potential negotiating strategies with CMMI. Um, and again, there's additional slides in the appendix uh, related to these topics, should you be interested in, in sort of going through those. And they all have uh, source slides on them, so you can go back to the full presentations where those are linked if you're interested. Um, this slide is really just to give us some context. Uh, this models um, how Medicare aims to slow healthcare cost growth. Um, and you know, our growth under a continued model structure would in theory result in greater cost savings over time. Savings here is really just the difference between the target that we set and the actual spending during any given performance year. Um, so that's what we're here to talk about today. With that, the slide that you've seen many a time before, uh, a quick overview of executive session, um, grounds for holding an executive session, again, uh, may hold a, a session to consider contracts after making a specific finding that premature general knowledge would clearly place GMCB um, at a substantial disadvantage. Um, I have provided motion language, well, legal has provided <laughs> a draft motion language on the next slide. Um, we would need a vote of the board, at least two thirds of the board. And uh, intent, uh, attendance has already been limited. So we've got um, a subset of uh, contractors and other staff who would be joining that session should we move forward. As promised, here's some potential motion language. Um, and I will uh, pause there for questions on anything so far or we can move forward. Um, I had just one, the slide with the timeline for commercial development of the global budget for commercial, it said, I think summer, late fall. And it says board vote, but that's not we're not anticipating actually voting late summer, fall on the commercial methodology. It's just that that's when we're continuing the work, correct? Yeah, I would agree with that. 
like, yes, it will eventually require a board vote, but timing is all yep. sort of subject. <laughs> Great, thanks. I had no other questions. I can go ahead and make a motion if there aren't any other questions. Okay, um, I would move that we find premature general public knowledge regarding negotiation of the Medicare total cost of care target and the hospital global budget proposals would clearly find, place the board at a substantial disadvantage in future negotiations of contracts with CMS that includes those items. I'll second it. All those in favor say aye. 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 I would then and sorry, Ellen. Motion carries. Um, okay. and and then I would move that we enter into executive session to consider negotiation of Medicare total cost of care targets and the hospital global budget proposals under the provisions of one VSA section thirty three. 13A1A of the Vermont statutes attendance at the executive session will be limited to board members, board staff working on the agreement with CMS, board contractors from Mathematica working with the board on the agreement, and the state's director of healthcare reform and other staff from AHS working on the agreement. I'll second. And all in favor say aye. 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 And the motion carries. <clears throat> so at this point, we'll take a uh, we'll adjourn this. We'll take a break from this meeting, and then we'll come back to it later after we conclude the executive session. Um, so everyone should log off this and go into the executive session. Who's supposed to be there? Thank you. Okay, we're resuming the board meeting. Um, looks like we have everyone here. The only other agenda items are uh, any, any old or new business for the board. And I will move that we adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Have a good day.